just to give you an idea to 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 support what you just said uh, in the uh, according to the website that I'm looking at here from the actually from the uh, Chicago Tribune website it talks about the shooting since Tuesday after 915 police officers shot a 25 year old man foot chase near the interse- one intersection and then a 16 year old boy was shot in the drive by about 11:50 p.m. Now, at 11.45, someone with a shotgun opened fire on two 20-year-olds. A 24-year-old woman sustained a graze wound to the shoulder about 10.30. 8.30 or 25-year-old, I mean, it goes, I mean, you should see the list, Mr. Fuller. It's like just a night of slaughter. And this is going on consistently almost every night of the week we're seeing this. And so this is what is meant by that whole destabilization where you take an environment and you make it almost unfit to live so people have to scatter. Is that what you're saying? Sure, that's a part of it. But then there's nowhere to go because then it starts all over again wherever you go because the people themselves have been devalued. These are black people who are slaughtering each other. Why? Because they have been told, directly or indirectly, by the white supremacists that they're animals anyway. That's what you're supposed to do when you see a dark-skinned person somewhere coming off, you know, over the mountain, I mean, and coming in your direction. Grab a gun, I mean, and run toward that person, uh, what's supposed to be a person, and gun it down. That's what it is. It's not a, it's not a, a human being. It's a thing. It's something that you kill. And non-white people, young black people in the Northwestern Hemisphere have been taught this. That's reinforced every day. You see something dark skinned that looks like it might be a person, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it now. Uh, kill uh, the females. Kill the babies. Kill, kill everything that's dark skinned that look like, look like it might fit the description of a person. Now, you pass by a whole lot of things that are dark. I mean, and you don't pay any attention to it. But if it looks like it's dark skin, a person with dark skin, that's something that's supposed to be dead. D-E-A-D. And that's been put in grain in the mind of millions of dark skinned people by the white supremacists. And so they just automatically do it. Don't even think about it. It's just something that you do. It's the reason for breathing. It's the reason for being here on the planet. That's what you do. Hey, well, what is he doing over here? He ain't got no business over here. He don't live here. I know he don't live here. I know everybody live around here. He don't live here. So I'm going to kill it. I'm going across the street and take my 9 millimeter and I'm going to kill it. And if I see a congregation of them, I mean, it seems like, I mean, there's 10 or 12 of them together. Oh, boy. I, I can shoot 10 or 12. I can shoot at least eight of them before the rest of them know what's going on. And that's fun. That's something great. That's something that I'm born to do. And that is the black mentality. Not only here in this area of the world, but all over the world. And how did they get that mentality? Because the white supremacists indoctrinated them, put that in their minds. This is what you're supposed to do. This is the reason for you being on the planet is to kill everything that looks like you. You don't have anything else to do but that. And when you finish doing that, come and check with me and see what else that I have for you to do. Because after all, you just have one master. Your brain is not your master. I am your master. And I am your brain. Me, racist woman and racist man. 